What is going on guys? Welcome back here to episode number two of this Manchester United FIFA 21 career mode and this episode we're just gonna keep on going. Last episode we you know we built the base for the career mode, we played one game, made a signing. This episode is gonna be a big one because we have multiple games in the Premier League to play including Newcastle, a big one against Arsenal and we're probably gonna get through the Brighton one so I have three games in this episode and then I'm gonna leave it here at the end of the transfer window but I'm not gonna close the transfer window in case we need to make a signing for the third episode um, that you guys might want to see. But that's what we're probably gonna do today, get through these three games and then stop it at the 31st or something like that. If you guys do enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment down that you want more of this content because I'll bring it to you. Now, remember in the last episode, 7-2 to two against West Brom. If you did not watch that, make sure to click the I button and it will be there. So because of that, Kept on Legendary, because Legendary definitely should be harder than that. I'm not that good of a player. Half length, I am going to drop to five minutes and see how that works. So this is going to be episode number two. And to start this episode off, we are going to be making a massive signing of Jadon Sancho. Yes, we are going to be going for Jadon Sancho. But now, with the negotiation strictness, we might not even have enough for Jadon Sancho. We might have to do a swap because look at this. He is 140 million value, but we might have to offer 177 to 252 million for him. As you can see in the transfer budget, we have about 200 million once I adjust this. Yeah, we have about 200 14 million or so it's gonna be a big transfer but we're definitely gonna get this one done so Jaden Sancho let's try to bring him in and make it happen like it did not did in real life well here we are negotiating here and we're gonna offer a transfer fee if I have to I might do a player swap and I have a player in mind we're gonna start with a 160 million dollar offer that's insane but let's see what they say 160 million and they want 228 think about it he plays the exact same position as Zayden Sancho. We already have Rashford and Sancho if we can get them both starting. Plus, we have Grealish and Greenwood. So, I don't see a point in Dan James. And in real life, he's probably going to leave. So, I'm going to add Dan James here. And then I'm going to also uh, propose the new transfer fee and drop it. So, let's say we did $160 million by itself. So, let's see what they say to $160 million and Dan James. What do they say to this? Let's see. And what? So we're going to go with a 175 million and all that much offer. Can they do it? No. So we're going to try our best. We are going to try our best to pull in Jadon Sancho to Manchester United. It's a hard one. We're going to do 180 million plus all that. Is that enough to bring him in? And we have a deal. That took a long time, but 180 million for Jadon Sancho. That is insane. Wow, okay, I can't believe we just paid that much. I did not expect it to be that much. But here's the contract. We're going to give him a crucial squad role, obviously. I want him in for as long as possible, and they agree to that. And then the release clause, obviously we do not want one. Now for the wage part, we have to say it. I'm really bad at this. So we're going to do a 100 and let's go 140,000 plus a, I don't know, 500,000 signing bonus. Actually, no. Yeah, we're just going to do that much. Is that enough to bring in Jaden Sancho to Manchester United? And they want a slightly bigger signing bonus. But with that, there it is. Jaden Sancho for 180 million. One, the biggest transfer ever has come to Manchester United on a five-year deal. It was basically going to be this whole entire career mode. He's already an 87 overall. He's only 20 years old. He has insane dribbling, agility, ball control, balance, short pass, and reactions. What a player we just got. So now looking at the team after this, Jadon Sancho is going to be coming in here. What's going to end up happening actually is Igalo is going to end up going to the reserves with Sancho coming in. And yeah, I don't see Igalo, um, you know, playing here as 
in the reserves because Greenwood, he's going to play as the right mid, but I can also play Greenwood as striker. So we'll see how that works. So that only leaves us with 32.58 million. That's pretty realistic. We don't really have much to sign any other player because these guys are definitely too expensive. So for now, that's probably going to be it. Actually, Saul ends up going to Manchester City, we'll, so we'll remove him. So I don't think we're going to do any more business for this transfer window as this is our team. We got Sancho in. We got Grealish in for a nice squad depth. If there is one other player, just tell me. I actually am recording episode two right after episode one, so I won't be seeing any suggestions. But for episode three, I'll see suggestions, hopefully. But I am recording a lot of this ahead of time just to, you know, get out of the way, you know, on the weekend and things like that. But yeah, team we're going to do is, yes, we are going to give Jadon Sancho his debut, and then Van de Beek is going to keep his spot. Everybody is going to keep his their spot for the games. And yeah, this is the team we're going with. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can win this and keep our strong start going in the Premier League. Real quick in this series, we are going to have season objectives. These season objectives, there is going to be six of them. One that occurs from now until the January transfer window. One that occurs from January to June, the end of the season. And then four that occur for the whole season. And our goal in the season is to complete all six of these season objectives. And down in the comments below, tell me what season objectives do you want. If we fail to complete four of six of them, then we have to do a forfeit. Now, you guys are going to tell me what you want, and I will go off of your suggestions. And then next episode, they will be announced, so stay tuned. There it is, Jadon Sancho right there, his first impression for Manchester United, the new signing. Let's see how he turns out. We're on the road facing Newcastle United, a team that we would be favorites against. They have good history, but as of right now, they're not one of the greatest teams in the Premier League. They're mid-table, really, at best. So this should be a win for us, but anything can happen in the Premier League. I mean, just ask anybody that's played in the Premier League or watches the Premier League. Anything can happen. We're at St. James Park. Let's go out here and get our first road win of the season, and let's start off. Let's keep our strong start going. So it looks like Newcastle get it underway, and here we go, as Anthony Martial, with four goals in his first game, is starting us off with some pressure. Still cannot get the ball off Newcastle here, as here's Zelensky, Van de Beek. Man, they are controlling possession very well here, and wow, they're, re they're really controlling possession well here. Let's see what they can do. Here's Zelensky. Zelensky is going to give it to Callum Wilson. Still Callum Wilson. Still Zelensky, and they've scored. Okay, you know what? This is definitely... Legendary difficulty because we're in shock now. We're down one nil. We could not take the ball off of them Yeah, wow. Um, this is not a good way to start at all. Here, we got to start something We got to respond to Newcastle. So here is Anthony Martial and Martial looks for Fernandez and Fernandez looking for a shot And he scored Bruno Fernandez. What a response. We have scored under 50, the 15 minutes in this game. Both teams have now scored. It's 1-1. One one. That is the response we were looking for. Bruno Fernandez. He scored one in the last game and one here. And let's go. We've tied it up. And now this is where we can go and take the lead. But that's how we respond. That's good for not putting our heads down. Here's Zelensky for them. Wamba Saka. That is excellent defense from him. And he gets it to Pogba. And Jaden Sancho here. Can start a counterattack. And what a pass. What a pass from our new signing to Anthony Martial. And that is the, that is like the definition of a perfect pass. Perfect counterattack. Perfect finish. Wow. Two to one here. Anthony Martial, after scoring four goals in his last game, gets his fifth of the Premier League season, just his second game, and Jadon Sancho, what a pass. It doesn't get much better than that from any player in the whole world, and that's why we signed him, and this is why we have the number nine, Anthony Martial up top. We take the lead here, two to one. Let's go. Oh, what a ball from them. What a ball, and no way. They've given a penalty. No way. It was a perfect ball from their midfield. I'm trying to play the ball, and instead Wambasaka takes. I I'm trying to play the ball, but instead it the, it plays the player, and we've given a penalty. We've given a penalty here. A chance for Newcastle to equalize. De Gea, we gotta save this. Come on, De Gea. De Gea. Nope. 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 It's all tied up two to two. Well. This is a high-scoring game once again. 
Okay, and we got to respond once again. I find Bruno Fernandez here. Fernandez playing it out wide to Sancho. Here's Wambasaka. Wambasaka looked to create something. Put it in the middle for Anthony Martial. And there it is. The second goal for him. The sixth of the season in just two games. And we continue our overpowered, high-powered attack. And we have scored our third goal of this first half. We've retaken the lead once again. And with that, we now lead 3-2. to two. What a game this has been for our offense. But hopefully, our defense can step it up. So beginning of the second half, and one thing is for sure, we have a very capable attack, but our defense is very iffy. Maybe we should assign a defender, but I don't think we have enough money to bring in a quality defender. Let's see what Newcastle can do. Here's Almiron. Almiron, what a ball. Where is Luke Shaw? Where is Luke Shaw? And they're going to put it in the middle, but what a save from David De Gea. This is why we have him. So we are 79 minutes into the game, and I do want to get subs here. I do want to bring on Greenwood here from Martial up top. Along, I do want to give Pogba a break, so I'm going to bring on Fred. And we're going to make it a triple substitution, as I'm also going to bring on Grealish here for Van de Beek. And then try to play Fernandez here in a deeper role and see how that works for him. Here's Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood. Oh, what a ball to Jack Grealish! And that is his... First goal for Manchester United, and look at all the Newcastle players on the ground, because that is icing on the cake, that is the finishing touch to this game. We have now made it 4-2 to just before stoppage time, there is no way Newcastle is coming back from that. What a pass from Greenwood, and what a finish from Grealish, as he gets his first goal for Manchester United. The two bench players who are very capable of starting combine to make it 4-2, to two, and that should be it for this one. I think we've got this wrapped up. And so the game does come to an end here. We win 4-2. to two. Our defense still has some problems and a bit shaky, but in the end, our attack is too much for Newcastle. And yeah, there we go. 4-2. to two. Good start to the season so far. So we do get a message from Fred that says um, he was disappointed that we left him out. We actually did bring him off the bench. Um... So that uh, kind of might be a glitch in the game. But as that's going on, we do get a few transfer offers. Um, we get one for Sh Jones here. The Shaw one, I already rejected, I guess. Um, Phil Jones, though, I'm definitely going to sell him. Phil Jones has been sold, though. And we get a transfer offer for Jesse Lingard, which, yes, I am going to accept. So getting into this next game here against Arsenal, probably our biggest game of the year yet. And I am going to make a few changes here. I'm going to bring on Fred, who I think deserves more game time. Van de Beek will definitely come on off the bench. I can guarantee you that. Everything else will stay the same, though, except I am going to bring on McTominay for Matic, who's already dropped one in overall. McTominay's younger and has more of a future, so that's why I'm making that change. And besides that, there's not much else I'm going to do for this game. So this is the team. Basically the same team except the Fred Van de Beek change. And yeah... Probably the biggest game of the season against Arsenal. Let's get into this one. It's going to be a big one. Here we are. It is a rainy day in Manchester, as it seems to be like just about every single day. But here we are, our second home game of the season at Old Trafford against Arsenal. This is one of the biggest fixtures, one of the biggest rivalries in the whole entire Premier League. We've started off strong. Haven't quite seen how they've started off, but they've probably started off pretty well. They have Aubameyang, they have Martinelli, they have a bunch of capable players such as Willian as well. It's going to be a big one, so let's get into this one and hopefully keep this nice run of form that we have to start the season off. So Martial does get the game underway here. Yeah, as I said, it's going to be a big one, or definitely our biggest test so far. But yeah, we're, this is this will prove if we deserve to, you know, be considered one of the best. If we can destroy them, yes. If we lose to them, though, there will be concerns. I think we have a better team on paper, but it's what actually happens in the game. Still so Jaka finds a bombing. Here's Danny Ceballos. Ceballos, Maguire trying to get him away here. Still Maguire and good defense defense for Maguire. But how does a bombing still have it? What? What just happened there? Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Just completely went through our defense. That is terrible defending. And, I mean, he is a very good striker. But, like, that is absolutely terrible defending. What is this? Who is that? Juan Basaka and Lindelof. Come on. Well, this is what happened against Newcastle. 
and hey, we came back in the end. But this is a harder team to come back against. Hopefully we can get it done. Let's just get a nice response. Sancho finds Martial. I need some more support here. I'm going to find Bruno Fernandez. Fernandez is going to play in Martial. And Anthony Martial, ah, I took too heavy of a touch and it's a wasted opportunity. Here's Sancho. Sancho, oh, what a ball to Bruno Fernandez. I'm just going to take the shot and it's saved. Oh, here's Obama Young for them. Lindelof, what are you doing? De Gea, good job. But what is this? What is this passing? No, what is this? What is this defending? Our defense is, like, doing terrible right now. Beginning of the second half, we're down one nothing. we got to create more chances here. We've had a chance here with Fernandez. We had, I think, a chance with, what, Martial or something like that. They've had chances too, though. I think we've been outplayed. So in the second half, we got to step it up. Here's Obama Young. Obama Young really has the ball a lot and creates a lot for them. But either way, we get it away only for McGuire to make an absolute terrible pass. And for what? Them to score an own goal. Are you kidding me right now? What is going on? Our defending is absolutely terrible. Look at this. I'm trying to clear it to actually Wambasaka. Instead, it goes there. And Lindelof, I'm pretty sure, just got an own goal. What is going on with our defense? This is terrible. Here's Pogba. We gotta create something here. Someone's gotta make a run. Here's Fernandez. I'm gonna try to play to Martial. Doesn't quite work. Pogba still gets it. Back to Fernandez. That's good. We still keep control of possession here. Here's Rashford. Shaw's making an excellent run, but instead the pass goes to Martial, which makes absolutely no sense. Back to Shaw. Here's Fred. Fred, I'm gonna find Fernandez. Gotta take the shot first time. And there we go. We get one back. Bruno Fernandez, our only player to score in every single game for us. He's gotten one each game. We get one back, I get another, and it's a draw. Get two more, and it's a win. We're going to go for as much as we can get. Let's go. But here's Danny Ceballos. Here's Aubameyang. He's created a lot. Lindelof. That is X. No. No. I am done. We gave a penalty up last game, and Lindelof gets the ball. You saw. He got the ball and passed it away right there. He passes it to Pogba. But they call a penalty. What is this? So before the penalty is taken, we're going to put in Van de Beek because I think we need that extra creativity. And also, I am going to put in Grealish for... I don't even know. Actually, no. I'm not going to put in Grealish. I'm putting in Greenwood for Martial, who has not been great today. And I'm also going to take off... Mm, let's take off Lindelof. He's been terrible today. There. Three subs. Three substitutions before this penalty. But man, if we give this penalty up, oh my, I can't believe they call that a penalty. I seriously cannot believe they call that a penalty. Well, that's two penalties given up by us. De Gea to save it! Yes, he has! David De Gea has saved Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang on the penalty. Oh my goodness. He has given us hope. Oh, here's Danny Ceballos. Here's still Ceballos. Still Ceballos. Back to Aubameyang. Here's Aubameyang. Gives it to Martinelli. Martinelli. Oh, he's completely done Wamba Saka there. Bye, he's got to put a foot in. Terrible defending. Oh my gosh. We cannot defend. And I am not clicking that button at all. This game right now. I cannot deal with this. And they're calling it a penalty. I'm done. I'm really done. What can I do? What can I do? I am trying to clear the ball. I'm clicking. I'm trying to play the ball. But instead, we give up a penalty. This is terrible. Honestly, I don't understand this game. Has it really been fixed from FIFA 20? I have no idea. And they get another penalty shot. They get another penalty shot. Are you kidding me? Obama Young this time, he converts, of course. <sighs> there it is. Are you kidding me? Two terrible penalties. What is this? What is this? Well, this is a terrible game. They're going to just send it back here to Yaka. And maybe a chance for them here. Let's see what happens. Pogba trying to play defense. Still Pogba. I've taken him down. And looks like they're giving a yellow, but <sighs> that's going to lead to it, the end of the game. That's the game over. We suffer a bad defeat to Arsenal of all teams at home. Penalty could not start off strong. Not a good game, but it is what it is. 3-1, to one, we lose. 
So for this next game against Brighton here, I am actually going to do the new simulation that they added to this year's FIFA career mode. I am going to put in Fred and Bailly here, taking out Lindelof, who's been atrocious and terrible. And I'm going to give Pogba a rest, as you can see, Fred and Vanda because of the midfield. But basically, we're going to be simulating this one here. If you're on the attack here, maybe to get something. We're just under half an hour um, in the game. Nothing's, No one's scored yet, but here's Anthony Martial finding Donny van de Beek, but it's wide. Oh, here's a chance for Brighton here, maybe. And Maguire's gotten a yellow card. Here's Brighton here on the attack. Fred is having to play on this left-back spot. Brighton going to try to cross it in. Brighton has a chance, but what a save from De Gea. Hopefully that doesn't change here with Brighton on the attack. Trying to do something. They get nothing, and that will be halftime. All that's happened is Maguire's gotten a yellow card. Here's Bruno Fernandes. No one has scored yet, but here's Anthony Martial. And it's an easy save. We are 78 minutes into this game, and absolutely nothing has happened when it comes to the attack. Um, our defense is playing well. They haven't given up a goal. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring on Pogba here. Maybe he can make an impact. As all as well, I'm going to drop Jaden Sancho here and put in Jack Grealish. And then I'm going to move Rashford to the right-hand side. Maybe that can make an impact here in the final bits of the game. Here's Brighton here. They're looking to score with about 10 minutes remaining plus a stoppage time. And here's Brighton. Still Brighton. Good defending, though. Is this game going to end in a nil-nil draw? Unless we get something late here. Here's Luke Shaw. Can we do it? We're in the final minutes of the game. Actually, final minute of the game. Luke Shaw is going back. Here's Bruno, and they call it. Are you kidding me? We get a nil-nil draw against Brighton. Well... That's disappointing. So we do get a transfer offer here for Smalling after the game, and I am going to accept this. So right now, we have about 47.5 million. With Smalling's deal going through, we might have about 50, 60 million. But we, there is 10 hours left in the transfer window. I am going to end it here. But I don't quite know if we're going to be able to get a defender in. As I mean, this episode was not... I mean, it started off well, I guess, with the win... Um, against Newcastle and Arsenal we kind of failed against and then uh, we just stumbled against Brighton as a nil-nil draw and so as you can see after four games obviously it's early but after four games we have actually scored the most goals in the Premier League but we've given up some of the most and we're sitting at sixth which is not like terrible but it's better but it's it's still early it's still early in this series but that is going to be it for episode number two we're going to end it here in that next episode we're going to finish off the transfer window and we're going to have some games here we're going to have tottenham we're going to have our first champions league game leicester sheffield and maybe psg along with cardiff in there but that's going to be it for episode number two if you guys do enjoy the content make sure to subscribe and like the video because i said subscribe like the content like the video like because that is what it's for and i'll see you guys on that next episode Buh bye bye